she lost a lot of weight. She had this little thin sheet on her fans in the hospital. It was really hot. It was the summer, 2017. And me and my sister are either side of her holding her hands. And I'm like, please don't go, Mum. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. I can't cope with that. You. I've only ever known you. You're my whole mum. You're my mum. You're my dad. You're everything. Please don't go. Please don't go. Darling, you have to let me go. Darling, you've got. I'll be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I've had my life. I'm ready to go now. I'm ready to go. Let me go. You'll be fine. No, but I can't. I need you here. I need you to tell me what to do. I love you. Please don't know. Like, please, don't, Mum. I need you. I don't want to. If I get married or meet a guy or a boy texts me, like I want to know what to do or how to make lasagna. You work it out. How will I work it? Because I've taught you. Remember what Mum did. Just stop. What What would Beyonce do? What would Mum do? That's what you need to think. <laughs> but I think that anyway. Well, there you go. You'll be fine. Listen, girls. You have to be strong. Promise me, girls. You'll be strong. You have to love each other very much. You have to take care of each other. It's very important for family to take care of each other. Look after yourselves. Look after your brothers as well, but they're dicks. I know, darling, but men are sensitive creatures. They can't handle it. You're very alpha and they don't like it, so you have to be nicer to boys. You have the fucking pillocks not even fucking... I know, darling, but you, you, can't, you have to reward them. You have to say, oh, wonderful, thank you, darling. That's so wonderful. You're so strong and handsome. But you know, they, it's easy to talk to them if you like that with them. Yeah, but that's fucking why I have to breastfeed him. Just be nicer, Louise. You don't have to breastfeed him, you do. Just be nicer. But then what do, I, what do I do? Like, what do I do without you? Well, lose some weight. Really, Mum, really? <laughs> yeah, you're such a pretty girl when you're so you just, you know, it's not very nice, is it? Because you're getting very fat and it's not healthy for you. Well, you were fucking healthy your entire life. You've been healthy. And what the fuck has it done for you? Yes, exactly. I've been healthy my entire life. And because I would, I have extra weeks with my daughter than I would have done if I hadn't have taken care of myself. So it bought me extra time with my children. What do we do without you? You go back to work. You can cry for three weeks and go back to work, but I won't be very funny. Of course you'll be funny. How do you know? Because I know you. You're going to have a wonderful life, darling. You're going to have such a wonderful life, girls. I just can see it now. Or will you, um, will you come back and like, give me a sign or something? Like, will you just, I mean, I'll be like, right, I'll just scare the shit out of you. But like, will you come back and be like, oh no, do something nice, give me like a three bed in central London with an outsized place. And it's like, well, I don't know if I can come back. What do you mean you don't know if I can come back? Well, I don't know, I might be busy. What do you mean you might be busy? <laughs> well, I don't know, I might be somewhere else. Don't, I don't know if I can come back. So I don't want to say, yes, I'll come back and then I'm not there and then you're looking all the time and then you're sad that I'm not there. And maybe I couldn't come back, so you know. Well, okay, I'll tell you what, can you maybe, if you get make time and you're busy schedule in the whole of fucking eternity, could you maybe go back to visit the daughter that looked after you in your dying fucking day? Yes, obviously, if I can, I will, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I just don't want to upset you. Well, fine. What do I do now? You let me go. Because I'm ready to go, girls. I'll be fine. I love you very much. And nobody and no thing can ever take that away from you. Your mother loves you. I want you always to remember that. Your mother loves you. And she took a deep breath and she closed her eyes and exhaled and I didn't recognize her face or her body because she was tiny and frail she wasn't this beautiful powerhouse she was still beautiful but she wasn't as strong she was it was like a shell <laughs> looking at this frail, weak, tiny, ravaged body that seven weeks ago they sent her home because they said that she didn't warrant one. And I'm with my sister and we're both just like, what? What? Oh. what felt like fucking forever my mum just opened her fucking eyes and went oh not today <laughs> who the fuck does that <laughs> who <laughs> you wonder where I 
get it from? Who is so dramatic that they go, goodbye, girls, I'm leaving, farewell, see you throughout, maybe never in alternity. Farewell, ladies, I'm dying. Your mother will always love you. I die. Oh, actually, not yet. Like, who the fuck does that? 